Hello and welcome to Affinity Workshop. My name is Dan and today we're going over the marquee selection tools. So in order to do that, I first need to find my toolbar. It's not showing right now, so I'll go to the view menu and just scroll down to this section here and hit show tools. That brings it up on the left hand side, but it's still grayed out. And that's because I don't have any documents open within Affinity Photo. So let me drag and drop something and there it lights up nicely. Above the toolbar is the context toolbar. That changes with every tool you select. That's because each tool has its own set of options you can modify or refine. Other options are included in the view menu. As you scroll down, you can see dock tools, which is now checked. If I want to undock the toolbar, I'll just check it again. And there it goes. Now I can drag it around wherever I like. The last option under View is Customize Tools. This gives you a wide range of tools to drag and drop onto your toolbar. If you don't want them there, just drag and drop them off. And if you want to reset your toolbar to its default state, just hit the Reset button. My toolbar currently has two columns, but if you'd rather have it single file, which a lot of people like, just hit one. That gives you a single file choice of tools. You can have up to eight columns, which will give you a shorter but wider toolbar. It's all up to you. I'll select two and hit close. So let's talk about the marquee selection tools. Here we have a square made up of dotted lines. And you can see that's the rectangular marquee tool. I'll select it, but note that in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little arrow there. Many of the tools have that. And what that is, is a flyout menu system. Click on that and it will show you that there are several tools also hidden behind the initial rectangular marquee tool. Whichever one you choose, will show up on the front. This is important to note because even when you switch to a different tool, the last chosen tool will still be there. I've lost a lot of tools at times and that's because often they're hidden behind something else. So it's good to know that all the marquee tools are right here. And when you hit that fly out button, you can see them all and choose the one you want. At the bottom, we also have the freehand selection tool. Let's go to Rectangular Marquee Tool. To make a selection, just click and drag. And now we have a rectangular shape. If you'd like a square in perfect proportions, just hit the Shift key and then drag to size. As I let go, I can immediately move the selection by putting my cursor inside the selection and just clicking and dragging. If you don't like the selection and you want to deselect it, let's go to the selection menu. Up here it says select. We'll just click that and then go to deselect. Let's try the elliptical marquee tool. This makes an ellipse in any shape you like. And also if you hit shift once again, it will draw a perfect circle for you. The column marquee tool will draw a column for you and you can drag this wherever you like. And the row marquee tool will do the same with a row. Now you might notice these look two different sizes, and that's because the row marquee tool has an option in the context menu called height. Currently it's set at 46 pixels. If I would like a wider row, I'll just change it to say 200. And then when I draw the marquee, it shows up wider. This is the same for the column marquee tool, which if we look is currently set to 380 pixels. 
If you'd like it wider or smaller, just drag to taste. Something else we can do with the marquee tools and all selection tools is create an initial selection and then add or subtract from that. If we go to the context toolbar menu under mode, it says new because we just made a new selection. However, if I click add, there's a little plus sign that shows up by my cursor now. I can go over to the selection and add to it. I can also subtract and a minus sign appears by the cursor. I can drag and subtract. There's also an option to intersect, which means when selected, you will intersect the current pixel selected with the new area you drag. However, remember, only the areas initially selected will be an option to choose from. So that's the basics of the marquee selection tools. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you soon.